Uh, before we get into this quick little guide, if you lot do enjoy the content and you want to help support me as much as you can, then you already know. I say it every video at this point, but just leave a like, you know, if you're going to enjoy the video that is, or if it helps or anything. Um, and subscribe too, if you want to, anyway. Um, the algorithm is painful at the moment, uh, and both of those things only take two seconds. I'd appreciate them a lot. But um, yeah, let's get into this. So basically, uh, I, was, I was thinking of like, obviously making type of guides, right? And I thought I'd start out getting the, you know, the mood, the, the guide making mood. Uh, with just a, with like a little siphon, but it's more important than you might think it is, right? Because like, I, I feel like I haven't like I mean I included these these reads in my scythe guides, but I feel like it's the read I go for the most on scythe, just because it covers so many options and you're in a really good position if it does hit. Um, but that is off of side light, for example. Uh, if they dodge up or in, is the most consistent. But it's like you'll do a heavy side light and you'll do this. Um, the way you input it is you do a heavy side light and then obviously they'll dodge. Uh, you need to chase dodge up diagonally, like straight away after hitting heavy side light. Um, and then you just need to do turn around there. So I'll kind of go through the inputs like step by step because I can't lie to you, it is quite tricky at first anyway. But like I said, it's a really important read. So you're going to be doing it loads and then, you know, you're just going to get muscle memory for it. And it's going to get so much easier the more you do it. So, right here, obviously you have your side light, then it's a chase dodge up, so you just hold, you know, up and towards them, and you, you press your dodge button, you'll do a chase dodge, and then, they, then literally instantly, actually, as soon as the chase dodge starts, as soon as you can, you need to let go of up and towards them, and you need to hold the uh, back, so away from them, I guess, um, and down to do the dare, and you press attack, and then it'll do this, and then what you are going to want to do, because it's the most consistent follow-ups, is turn them away with the dare like that and then you can get sir you know you, you can get like quite a lot of follow-ups actually you know you can get a recovery if they jump you can get another dare say if they fall um but yeah and it works as well like another reason why it's so good is it works for quite a while you'll see there like 50 damage you know at 50 damage a lot of scythe reads will not be working anymore but this one does and it like it really does set up into like pretty easy zero to deaths um as you can see there like uh, I guess I can't hit it anymore um, But like you hit a sir and then they jump hit recovery. I am so bad. But anyway uh, you, you see what I'm trying to say, but also and probably the most important thing is that it actually covers quite a lot of dodges um, Up and right means that they'll dodge in and up basically so it'll catch that too very easily exact same input um, And it'll also catch in which is which I, I always think left is in but you know, right um, It'll catch in too with the exact same input. You don't have to switch up the input at all for these to hit and it will catch all of those, uh, which is quite insane. It can also catch other dodges, but you kind of have to switch up the input or do it a bit slower. Like it can catch spot dodge, but they have to be like a bit higher health. You have to like, I don't know, do some weird inputs. If you do want to hit, like you see there, you can, you can do it. Um, <laughs> but like, you know, you have to do the chase dodge, then you kind of have to cancel it early, you have to fast fall, grab the dead, like, yeah, it, it's a, it's definitely a different input. Um, at higher health, it's kind of more consistent, but yeah, that works. Also, it can, same as spot dodge, you can kind of catch down if you do it like that, like it's, yeah, but but they are different inputs. So, um, down and in, not down and in, down and spot dodge are the exact same though. But, you know, the one you're going to want to go for is the one I told you at the start. Because uh, that will always catch up, always catch up and in, always catch left. Which, through a move, or for a read to catch up and in on Scythe, is pretty big. I can't lie to you because, you know, like the most common dodge, probably in the whole game, over every rank. I mean, especially the earlier ranks, but, you know, every rank, uh, is always in. Like, I, I don't know, there's something, like, people just want to be inwards i guess like you know they just want to be back to safety you know they don't really expect you to go through them they just want to dodge through the next attack so i, I guess it's kind of like just just in in their nature to dodge in right um but then you know when you get like higher like one of the biggest mix-ups on scythe and one of the hardest dodges to catch uh for a lot of scythe reads is up so even if they go for that too it still catches um up and in catches too like i said um, and you can get your pretty decent follow-ups off it, like you just saw there, you know, you can get uh, a dare, um, and obviously the sir, um, off of this, depending on what damage they are, the sir will either hit them upwards like this, or it hit them kind of straight, or, or kind of downwards, I guess, more than straight, 
If it hits him upwards, what you're going to want to do is recovery. Uh, like this, you'll see you can hit recovery there and you can just hit another set and they'll die. Um, and if I get them to the right health, so maybe 50 once again, then okay, you know, that's, that's way too high actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe like 30, say, just kind of high. Uh, then you can hit another there. Well, the bot's jumping, so that you'd go for recovery again. But yeah, literally, after this, the, the dare says guaranteed, and then it's just a 50-50 between you going for another dare, uh, like that, if they fall, or you going for recovery, if they jump, like the bot is doing. So I'll literally just... Oh, okay, well, that's the set hit differently there. Just a bit of inconsistencies, but, you know, that happens on most string weapons in the game. Um, and I think that is all there really is to this uh this read um it is just like like i said it's gonna be in your muscle memory after long enough just because like it it's just really useful and it can actually catch sometimes you'll just notice it'll just catch even if they don't dodge sometimes this will just catch them which it's kind of the same as like the spot dodge, but it's just like it's like a different input um but yeah it's uh it's quite useful i guess i mean yeah maybe not if they don't dodge but it can be i i, I don't know i just wanted to share this uh, I might actually hop into experimental, play some games, just so the video doesn't end there. You know, I don't want to scam you a lot of the content, make some little six minute video. Uh, so yeah, man, let's just hop into the queue, see if I can hit this sometimes, and uh, I'll show you a lot that it's pretty effective. But yeah, other guides that I want to make at the moment um, are a cannon guide. I definitely want to make one of those. Um, but like a zero to death guide. I don't want to just make a, like a full on cannon guide, because I don't know enough about the weapon, I feel like, to make that. Uh, see, I didn't even like go for it there out of me thinking like I want to do it for the video. That's just my master memory taking over. I, I just had to go for it. Um, I literally every time, pretty much. Or at the start of the game when I don't really know which dodge they're gonna go for, I'll go for it because it's just it's just a really safe option. I feel like. Um, okay, may maybe that wasn't the best, but yeah, no. You see, this guy dodges in a lot, uh, so it's definitely gonna work against him. Just have faith. Wait, oh, I'm actually getting slapped a little bit. I can't lie. Uh, that's that's not what you like to see uh but yeah no um the other guide i want to make too is an orb guide i mean as you can see i'm playing fate and that's all i've been playing literally so i picked up quite a decent amount of knowledge on orb like like actually very good knowledge like some of the stuff i've learned on this weapon it's not that i've put it to use yet because my orb is still kind of slacking if i'm being honest with you um but the knowledge is there so as long as i know enough stuff for a guide i can make one um, and I'm getting to the point. I feel like I want to get better on the weapon first, though. Because at the moment, like, I don't know. I don't think my fate is, or, like, my orb especially, is as good as something like my Mordex and my Gaunts. Like, I feel like I just know more about Gaunts like that. Um, but we'll have to see. Uh, I, I've been playing, you know, a lot of fate on stream. A lot of fate uh, just in ranked in general. So, uh, we, we'll see. But, like, by the end of the season, uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for 2300 on fate. That is the goal. Uh, whether that's gonna be achievable or not <laughs> is uh, is up for debate. 100% uh, I'll, I'll be able to get 22. But the 2300, I haven't hit on any legend yet. So uh, I might make it, I might make it happen. Um, but yeah, orb guide, 100% I wanna do that. Um, and I wanna make an updated Gaunt's guide too. So yeah, I, I just thought I'd start with this kinda, kinda small video today um, and hopefully it gets gets my creative, not even creative, because like I already know what I want to make. Um, it's just really finding the effort to do it. Uh, so yeah, maybe, maybe if I'm if I'm in the guide mood, it will help. We'll see though. Um, and this guy might die. I haven't hit the read one time this game. I'm gonna have to queue again. This is this is depressing. Wait, he's dead. He's not he's not dead. I lied. Wait, no, he is dead. Okay, I'm, I'm just getting baited at the moment. Oh my. See, <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> it doesn't actually matter what way you throw that sig out. You're not gonna get punished for it ever in your life. And he's he's just surviving. To be honest, okay, here we go. He's gonna throw the weapon down. Oh, that never works. I don't even know why I bother. Wait, he's actually nearly killed with a with a nair. Big brain play. I can't even lie to you. Um, I feel like there's more stuff to this like read that I want to talk about, but at the same time, I, I, I feel like I've covered it all. Because like, you know, it's not like a massive guide. It's literally just. I'm talking about one single read so it's like there's not too much to talk about like i feel like there's so much more to say just because you know usually there is with my guides i mean you lot have seen my guides are like 50 minutes long more time which i don't even know how i managed to do that all the time but you know what maybe that's the reason why i, <laughs> I find it hard to find the effort 
But uh, yeah, definitely, you know, comment down below if you know, do you want to see any of those guys or, you know, comment which one you want to see the most. Um, and I know it's going to be Orb. I already know it's going to be Orb. Or maybe Gaunt. You know, there's a lot of Gaunt players out there. But, um, you yeah, know, we'll see. And I think it's just because, like, there's not really an Orb guide on YouTube. Like, there's not too good of an Orb guide on YouTube anyway. Uh, I mean, I, I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm... Uh, fully just disrespecting somebody accidentally. You just made like a, a like a really good Gaunt's guide. Oh, well, not Gaunt's guide, Orb guide. Um, but uh, from what I've seen, they're all either just really old or not that good, to be honest. Um, and like I just said at the end of the last game, like whenever I make a guide, I want to include everything. And you know, I want to make it good. So we will see. Uh, and I'm trying to hit the street, to be honest, like at least once. I'm telling you lot, it's really important and I fully haven't hit it, which is, I, I might be scamming you. I can't even do it now. I mean, obviously, yeah, it only works out like earlier healths, uh, as with most, you know, scythe reads. Um, I mean, well, obviously there's like high health reads too, or else you're never going to kill. But like, yeah, it is, it is more of an early health thing, but it, it does work. Like I showed you up until around 50 damage, right? Which isn't too bad. Because uh, like I did say, you know, more time, they'll just stop working at about 20. Uh, so, you know, 50 is respectable for a read that gives you so much too. Um, but I am going to try here. Let me let me grab Scythe. Uh, enough Orb. I know I'm trying to improve on that weapon, but 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 no. We have bigger things at play here. And there we go. And he's going to... See, just like that. There, instead of recovery, I should have dead. And if I did, he'd actually be dead. Like fully. Oh, This guy is like a bot. You know how the bots just, they're never consistent with what they do? That's what this guy's doing. He's baiting me too hard. He's mixing it up like a demon. Uh, calling him a bot in that uh, scenario isn't even an insult. It's actually a massive compliment. Um, ever since like they made the bots, like the chosen bots and that, being called a bot isn't even a bad thing. You know, it just means you're the GOAT. <laughs> like chosen bots are a lot better than most players, you know. So you really can't complain if someone calls you a bot. They just, they're, 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 they're complimenting you if anything. Uh, but let me kill him and then we go to the next stock and then hopefully I remember but Unless he you know does the butterfly mix up on me again That I need to hit it there and we're gonna get a zero to death. Maybe. I don't know how that mine didn't hit me But I'm not gonna complain Dodge in. But okay See now there's the scythe inconsistencies once again where you know the, the, the There we go and he dodged up and he's gonna recover oh, They're so close. <laughs> Wait, no, he's still dead no, he is still dead though. Okay, there we go. You love to see it. You love to wait. He's he's. I was gonna cry if he made it back. I can't lie to you. But um, yeah. There you go. I mean, there's some proof. I guess you know we got some proof in the end. Uh, but like I said, if it did help, um, and you know this string, I mean, well, you're not gonna know if it if it goes on to help you or not right now. But leave a like anyway. You know, it just 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 show some support. I'd appreciate that. And subscribe too if you made it here and you're not already. But um. Until tomorrow, I think. It is Thursday. Okay. Until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Probably not uploads on the weekend. Because it is BCX month starting. So, the channel is going to get sucked even harder by YouTube. But, but it's, we, we, we'll, we'll move. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, like I said, have a great few days. Uh, thank you for watching, of course. And peace.